are going to be, you know, obviously it comes down completely to player preference. Um, I know, like, for me, I play Peach. Uh, whenever I do straight strikes against uh, against a Peach uh, in a Peach Ditto, I just ban Dream Land. Like, don't yeah. even want to deal with it, right? <laughs> That's fair. I would agree. And it's just like, but they went to Battlefield. They probably just agreed to it yeah, afterwards. It didn't look like they uh, struck. K-Pan with the, with the slick 0 to 86%. Four tilt, that was really good. Oh, do oh it. man, that was uh, <laughs> almost terrible for K-Pan, but... If, uh, if the Falco had angled it any closer to make it so that he could have recovered, K-Pan would have covered oh, it with man. the back air. So that was like a true, like, fully covered option. I really love K-Pan's Falco. It's just like a surgical kind of, like, clean Oh, man, that air. forward air, though, the three-hit forward air. We always say that if you hit all five hits of the forward air, you're automatically the most technical player in Smash history. <laughs> Nobody's ever been able to hit all five hits in tournament. In tournament? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get three hits, you know, you see like three is three pretty hits. good. Three is like a win. I would take that. Yeah. <laughs> a... Yeah, uh, K Pan just kind of uh, asserting his dominance right now. He's definitely a good Falco at the Ditto as well because he's just got some of the best lasers in the business. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of the pressure that Falco does against himself is really good. Oh, that was bad though. I don't know if uh, K Pan tried to like jump or roll out there, but. He went for the forward smash and just DI'd it straight right and just died. Like, no chance for survival whatsoever. But we're seeing K-Pan just being able to sign in, like, almost all of uh, Swagbag's pressure out <laughs> Again of with the three-hit forward air. He's getting, like, sick returns on these forward airs. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that down smash is really good. A uh, funny note about Falco's down smash, when you're charging it, you are invincible from the waist down. Absolutely. So it's actually really good uh, for a lot of, like, ledge, uh, ledge get-up attacks uh, mm -hmm. that hit, like, only low. Right, right. Yeah, but this uh, Falco's uh, doing a little bit of work on K-Pan. Nice shorten. Uh, it really uh, prevents the, uh, the Falco from getting hit uh, very well. Like, the hitbox doesn't, like, appear there, like, right away. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that was a beautiful double. Was uh -oh. that forward air? Into oh, man, he should have just grabbed the gen. He, he went for the He went for the forward smash because he was feeling himself, and he Got just wanted to break his speed. <laughs> oh, man. At oh, first, boy. I thought he was going to down air, yeah, and then he yeah. went for a side B spike, and now I don't no. know what the heck is going on. Hopefully closing this game out soon. Yeah, uh, a 9 to... Nine out of ten times, he's gonna close out with a back air. Just watch. There it is. Yup. Yep. The back air. Yup. That'll do it. So he hit Falco with the swag bag. Hit, uh, hit uh, a back air against K Pan's uh, shield, mm -hmm. and then K Pan just dropped down. And it wasn't even like uh, the kind where you uh, don't have any uh, lag. Like right. if your back is facing the ledge and you get knocked off while you're in shield, you go into tumble animation. Mm -hmm. If you're facing forward, you can just act immediately. Right, right. He went right. into tumble animation, but the Falco didn't fastball, didn't L cancel something, and he was just able to get a free back air after he landed on the ground. Oh wow, well, uh, Swagback's getting off to a strong start here on FD. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens. I mean, if you get one hit and you know how to, like, control your character with Falco, you're going to get the 0 to 116%, as Absolutely. we see here. Um, the, the the difference really comes when you're in neutral. And, you know, better Falco players are going to have better neutral. They're going to have more opportunities to get that and also their shield uh, yeah, pressure. Yeah, exactly. You see that. Nice, clean pressure. But even and still, not, pressure wasn't enough. Didn't get any conversion out of it. Yeah, that was another beautiful uh, ledge hop double laser into uh, Shine. It's getting a nice uh, conversion off of that. One of the things that I really like seeing K-Pan doing and what a lot of Falcos are doing, like a few years ago, like Falcos would pressure shields and they would just try to shine as much <laughs> as possible. They would just like multi-shine until like their thumbs wore down, right? Right, right. And what you're seeing more now is that they're trying to use that tactic, but more consistently. Oh, so yeah. you're seeing a lot of people do, oh, those lasers were really good. That's so oh, good. why didn't oh. he, he needed to get way closer way earlier, yeah. especially when Falco was sitting there, like, charging his uh, up B for a minute. He just run I towards mean, him and shoot yeah, the lasers. He was, Don't just, stand still. he was giving him way too much credit. Absolutely. Like, there's a full, like, second where you can do whatever, and he just stayed back, like, towards the middle of the stage, still shooting lasers. It just wasn't a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, but you see, like, with K-Pan's pressure, you see him going for, like, Double shine, you know, uh, jump cancel uh, into like a short hop down air, or like you see a lot of uh, that was unfortunate. He uh, he got hit by the laser and then didn't uh, didn't up the side right, beat instead because right. he was trying to side beat before. No, oh, yeah, and but that happens a lot. You see that. That's why lasers are so good. Mm -hmm. uh, up smash is such a good tool for combos oh, against oh, yeah. Falco. I think so too. Like there's there's a percent where like or like a like uh, certain positions where up tilt won't work, but up smash is just like <laughs> just right. Down tilt as well, another really good move for. Down tilt you can't really get like a whole lot of combos off of though. It's a good but extender though. Yeah. Yeah, hit the ground, cover miss tech. So yeah, exactly. But you're not gonna get like, out a lot of follows out of it. But you do get like what 16, 17 percent. It's a Absolutely. strong move. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, definitely good for uh, like, kind of like ending a combo. Um, what I was saying before about multi shines, though, is uh, you see a lot of Falco's crouch cancel shine there was really good into the up smash into another shine back oh, air we go back air. Ah! Oh. 
Keep it going. Oh, uh, the jab reset with the laser. That's <laughs> another really good thing to, uh, with Falco, especially.